Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Soul Journeys in the Long Hill Homestead. I am about to go start picking potatoes. Yetimias is out hunting right now, and <laughs> dogs are excited. The weather has been disgusting here the past week. We had like a little bit of sun for a couple hours yesterday, which was so nice, but it's been really gray, really humid. It's a little bit cooler today, which feels good, um, but it is gray again. So hopefully you guys will enjoy watching the potato picking process. Uh, we've picked a little bit here and there, uh, but it's really time to start harvesting everything. So let's go have a look at the garden. Let's take a quick tour of the potato fields. These are the potato towers. This one had soil in it, remember. And this is the perfect time, I think, to be picking them. The plants are starting to die back. Uh, and you can see how much of it just sank down. I'm really curious to see what it's like in there as far as potato growth. This one, <laughs> this was just straw and it did terribly, but still, we should look through everything and see what happened. You can see all these mushrooms growing in here though. There is a potato plant there. That's a potato plant. Tusker's joining us on this little adventure. What do you think, little boy? Okay, so here's the field. It's really overgrown now, but let's go have a look. This, these have been picked. These were the summer potatoes. So these we harvested earlier. And you can see these were harvested as well, I believe. This was a set potato actually that just didn't grow. Huh, interesting. Some just didn't grow. But um, this is year two of the Ruth Stout method. Remember, Ruth Stout method is basically just putting organic material directly on top of the soil and then allowing the decomposition to create a fertile ground to grow in. Year one was not so good. We had only very small potatoes but we did notice much better growth in the plants themselves this year, so we're hoping that's a good sign. The potatoes we have picked so far, it's been a mixed bag actually. Some have been really good uh, as far as size is concerned. Some are really tiny like new potatoes. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we get this year. Something I'm realizing now is that because the plants have really died back quite some time ago, the it's really hard to see where everything is. And because it's also overgrown and everything, it's gonna be a bit of a struggle to see where everything is and, and hopefully I'll manage to get all the plants. Yeah, that's something to think about for next year. Probably do a better job of covering with more, even more straw throughout the season. I still, in my mind, think maybe next year we should till the earth and just start that way again. But I don't know, we'll see. We don't have to decide now. First, we have to pick the potatoes that we do have. Just because I'm so excited about this, I'm gonna start with the potato tower. So let's start. Hey, now that's a potato. Look at that. a lot of small ones, like really small. All right, I've moved the potatoes that I managed to harvest from the tower into here so that I can compare them to what I get from the field. But if you think about how many potatoes I actually put in here, this is a really bad yield. So not been super happy with this, but it was an experiment, right? We have to try it and see if it works. What's really interesting is that the potato tower had really big, bushy, beautiful plants in it, but still the potatoes were really small, probably because they were all really close together and piled on top of each other. That would be my guess. Anyway, if you've done this before, please let me know what your experience has been. I would really love to hear about it. 
All right, now we're in the potato fields. We've started harvesting here and there just for the odd meal. And let's see, I'm trying to think if I've actually harvested this spot. Yes, okay, so this spot has been harvested for sure. This has all been harvested. So let's start on the third row. These are all King Edward potatoes and then where that post is, from behind that post and to the left is all uh, uh, mandel potatoes, so almond potatoes. I, I think it's fingerling potatoes in English, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm basically just gonna go through and start moving the straw out. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Well, that was the seeded potato where it's mushy, which is, this is normal for it to go into this sort of soft mushiness. And this is the potato. It's so small, one of them. Let's see what else we can find in this one. Okay, all right, a few more. That was it? No. Here's an, okay, this is another potato, another seed. You can see the, this is the seed potato, remember, really mushy. And then, this one's a bit bigger, but they should be a lot bigger and there should be a lot more. It's okay, let's see what's under here. Okay, lots of tiny whinies as we say. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna keep going with this and we'll see what else we can find. All right, I took a little pause and I'm gonna go outside now. I'm out of my bibs, but I'm gonna go out and show you guys what I did manage to pick. I picked about one row plus that tower that we looked at. And I'm gonna stop for the t for today. But let's go have a look at what I did get. All right, you can see it, that darker area here. That's what I've picked. And this is the result. So it's actually not very good at all. Um, the potatoes are really small and there's like the odd big one, which is great, but in general, not the best. Wow, this is a bad row. So far at least. Yeah, the consistency is definitely not there. A lot of really small potatoes. And yeah, as I said before, this is only year two. So theoretically, over time, it's supposed to get better and become more like soil. This is from like three plants. This is really bad. Mind you, this is very low on the end of the amount I've gotten from each plant. But still, again, we need some consistency in the plants. So this was a big pile of straw, which might have added to the fact that it's a better yield, but I, I'm not sure if that was the case of why. Um, I think what I have noticed is that when the potatoes are touching some soil, like actual dirt, they seem to have done better. That's when the, um, the potatoes that have grown, uh, they seem to do better. I don't know if that's the case or if it's just coincidence that I noticed that, but a lot of weeds here too. Probably doesn't help this. All right, we've done half the potato field now. We've gotten the summer potatoes. We've gotten all of the King Edward potatoes and we took the tower down that had the Mandel patatas, uh, almond potatoes in. Uh, so we're gonna stop for today. Yeah, I don't know what to say. We're, we're happy with the fact that we have food that we've made. We're not happy with how the potatoes are as far as size and consistency is concerned. But as we said, everything is a learning experience for us. So maybe next year we're gonna decide to till half of the field or the whole field or none of the field and keep trying this Ruth's out method. 
Uh, but what we do know is that the ground itself is very fertile. There are worms all over the place and there's lots of weeds growing, of course. Uh, but uh, we hope to try something a little bit different next year and see if it improves. Thanks for watching.